following up yesterday's The Sims 4 for Rent Map Leak, this on Twitter at the Sim Guru Anonymous released the full map with the lots clearly labeled this time, leaked ahead of time for Tom Ring. So it looks like towards the top that the part of the map that kind of looks like it's based on the Night Market District it has a 40 by 30, a 20 by 15, a 20 by 20 with an icon over it that looks like it's the new residential rental home lot type and the 30 by 30 park, which may be the botanical garden on the second part of the neighborhood, which is kind of lower on the screen and to the right. We have a 20 by 15, two empty lots, which is a 20 by 20 and a 30 by 20, a 20 by 20 karaoke lounge and a 30 by 20 that also looks like it's a new residential lot type. And that home also kind of looks like the home from the property management trailer that came out about a week ago. I'm assuming the animal sanctuary is a rabbit hole that we can't actually see since it's not labeled on the map. If this leak is correct, it is disappointing to only have nine lots. However, nothing is official until EA says so. So please take all this information with a grain of salt. Sim gurus have confirmed in the past that the new lot type can be used and placed in any world. So just as a reminder for those of us who have a lot of the game packs and expansion packs, currently in game there are 21 different worlds available. Oasis Springs, Willow Creek, and Newcrest, which came with the base game. Magnolia Promenade from Get to Work, Windenburg from Get Together, San Machuno from City Living, Forgotten Hollows from Vampires, Brindleton Bay from Cats and Dogs, Del Sol Valley from Get Famous, Strangerville, Sulani from Island Living, Brychester from Discover University, Evergreen Harbor from Equal Lifestyle, Mount Comorabi from Snowy Escape, Kimford on Bagley from Cottage Living, Tartosa from My Wedding Stories, Moonwood Mill from Werewolves, Copperdale from High School Years, San Sequoia from Growing Together, Chestnut Ridge from Horse Ranch, and Glimmerbrook from The Realm of Magic. So this will be our 22nd world from Tom Ring. And so I think it's good to keep in perspective that although this world may be smaller and doesn't give us a city feel that we may have expected, there are other opportunities to build and grow multi-family lots in other worlds if you have the game packs or some of the other expansion packs or even if you have base game because Newcrest comes 100% empty so you get to pick all the lots in Newcrest.